There are three key processes of supply chain management. This includes business process. Business process looks at bundles of interconnected activities that stretch across the organization in supply chain. Customer relationship management looks at a process that allows all companies to prioritize their marketing focus on different customer groups according to each group's long-term value to the company or supply chain. And customer service management, a process that presents unified response system to the customer whenever complaints, concerns, questions, or comments are voiced. Key processes of supply chain management. This includes demand management, Demand management seeks to align supply and demand throughout the supply chain by anticipating customer requirements and creating demand-related plans of action. Order fulfillment, a highly integrated process, often requiring person or people from multiple companies and multiple functions to come together and coordinate to create customer satisfaction at a given place and time. So when you buy something online, that's order fulfillment, which basically means you purchased it, the order goes to the company, the company picks the product, packs the product, sends it to a shipping company, who will then get it to Australia, where it will be scanned and checked and processed then to another company, maybe like a Star Trek or OzPost, will then get it to you. So as you can see, highly integrated process, often requiring multiple companies and uh, multiple functions. Manufacturing flow management, ensuring that organizations in the supply chain have the resources to manufacture with flexible business practices and to move products through a multi-stage production process. Supplier relationship management supports manufacturer flow by identifying and maintaining relationships with high-valued suppliers. Product development and commercialization includes the group of activities that facilitates the joint development and marketing of new offerings among a group of supply chain partners and organizations. And the last one, return management, helps manage volumes of return products efficiently whilst minimizing return related costs and maximizing the value of the return assets to the organization in the supply chain. For this one, think about any time you purchase something online that had a free return policy or try it for X amount of days, and if you don't like it, return it. For example, Koala Mattress. If you buy a mattress through them, you can basically use it for 120 days, at the end of which, if you're not happy with the product, you can return it back to them and get a full refund. Earlier this year, I tried at a company called Ecosa. Unfortunately, mattress wasn't very good, but what was interesting was their return policy. So when you contact them to return the mattress, they send another company, basically another intermediary to come pick up the product. But before they do, they'll have a look at it, make sure it's not damaged in any particular way. And once they're happy with it, they'll take it away with them. What I was really surprised by was Ecosa, as part of their return policy, donate a lot of their mattresses to charity, which I thought was rather interesting. So depending on the product that you're selling, you really have to consider what kind of return management system you're going to put in, as well as the policies and procedures which surround it.